now I'm going to show you guys how to make the corned beef, how to cook the silver side our way. So I got 1.55 to 2 kilos here for corned beef. They are the good one. So we choose this up because they are kind of leaning on and less fat than anywhere else there in the shop. So this is my this is our style. I'm going to remove this. Okay, it's the silver side. I'm going to cut this one guys. So I am going to rinse this and I am going to put this in overnight. I will soak this in the water for overnight, just normal water, or filtered water, so I can remove the actual salt on this because actually this silver side is pretty salty on them. So happen, I have to remove this, and after remove this, I put this in the big pot with full of filtered water, and I let it be there for overnight. And then after that, I am going to cook this in the our brand new slow cooker so I'm going to remove this and rinse it thoroughly in the water yes. uh, here it is guys the corn beef it's now open up I tear it up on the top through the thing and I let the water run here now so I can remove this not in fact not very fat see you can also remove this one you know this part here you can cut this in the pot if you like but if you don't mind that a little bit additional part instead of using the oil you can just do that too so it's really dry to this one that's why i'm going to wash this one because we're gonna cook this in a different way and i'm gonna show you after i wash this in other way I'm going to put this in the water for a bit of just normal water and just do this cold water, not this cold water, cold water. Wash it thoroughly and I'll put this in the water, cold filtered water, just for overnight. And I'm gonna rinse this one out again and also after rinsing it overnight thing putting it in I am going to do this as well and dry it with a paper towel so yeah I think my meat is nice and cut and nice and wash so you can cook also you can do like this take it out from the plastic here from the packaging and I, I will after this video guys I will remove this actually it's still way too fat bear with me I got one hand here and I'll uh, just leave it there and I'll clean it up with this I'm gonna show you and put this in the pot okay everyone after I wash it thoroughly the corn bit oh the beef here for our silver side corn beef. I, if you notice, guys, I remove the fat in here. See, it's the only fat here. That's right there, the amount of fat that I remove. And this is the one I don't want to cut it too little. So at least there is some few left for the purposes of my cooking. So I just leave it be. And the rest here. I'll ch chuck it in the rubbish. Rubbish. I don't need too many fat on this. It's way, way too fat. This corned beef one. So anyhow, I'll just get this experiment one. You see how it goes the way I cook, guys. Because this is way different than any other um, people cooking. The way they cook with the corned beef or silver side. Okay. I'm just gonna bring over here. And I am gonna, right here we have a water from the distilled 
from the filtered water and uh, I'm going to put this meat here. Right there. If there's not much water here, I have to put it more. The reason I soak this for overnight like this, I probably put this in the fridge too. So the meat, you know, you have to get a good from it. So I have to put this back in the fridge. Of course, I have to repeal this water until the meat is um, covered and I let it be for overnight soaking so the water will will absorb and remove the excess amount of salt in this. So yeah, just get some more water and after that, I'm going to show you what I did this after overnight um, soaking in the cold water, the normal temperature water from the so I'm gonna pour this water guys and I'm gonna put this in the fridge and let it be for overnight. See guys the water is drained and you remove all this nasty too much soil on them, too much salt on them. And I'm gonna get this one more time and I am going to leave it for a while and a few minutes later or so I'm going to put this with a kitchen fire kitchen paper and it goes straight this when they dried up a bit it goes straight into the our local pepper alright guys okay. so pretty much for sure it's not much um soil on them salt on them anymore so yeah I'll just leave it in you know, until it's nice and little bit drain of water hello everybody what's up this is the meat now after we put this in the fridge for whole night as you remember with a full of water now here it is I already wiped them with this uh, whole night I didn't do nothing with it just the uh, cold water with full, with um, filtered water for whole night and um, I'm going to give this spicy now because I am going to put this one here before I put it in the slow cooker all right we got um, herbs here for meat is for meat I'll get the rest of that and I get some of the Italian herbs okay no need salt on it guys because this one this James crazy okay James Casey mix up um, you can use it marinade and seasoning so it has a salt on it what else you get it yeah it's good for meat meat poultry seasoning and kind of stuff pizza gravy stuffing possibilities something like that so you got everything on it too I'm gonna put this one on they have some salt as well so you if you can Grab this one in, and I am going to get some of this sugar, brown sugar, or you can use some white sugar if you like. So I'm just gonna get more of this. Just rub it in the meat. Don't be shy. Be my stuff is shy. A bit of salt, bit more, so that it balance the meat. So I've just turned it over and I'll do the same thing as well. And I got already hot, sizzling hot pot. And then I'll do the same thing again. All over. Okay. And this stuff here. Okay. All over again, like what I did with the others. Okay, and this corn beef that I make today, guys, I made today. Um, this is our own recipe, so um, let you know after we put this in the slow cooker for maybe eight hours or ten hours or so. I just let them overnight and wake up tomorrow. I see what's happening. I'm gonna put some really up high now. And should be fine. 
I'm gonna give this a bit more go. This itself is really salty. So, whenever you wash this in the water, no need to put salt because for sure it's still pretty salty. Because this meat is um, kind of, what do you call it? They really put, um, preserve it with a with lot of salt so meat won't get um, attacked by bacteria and stay longer in the sh shelves in the shop. Okay guys, I am going to grab this. I got some of this. Grab it here or <laughs> just do it by your hand up to you. Put in here. See how this is like that. Nice. A bit more oxygen. See? Okay, that's so I let it be maybe two minutes each side and two minutes in the other side and I'll come back after it's finished guys. I didn't put any um oil on it but I think I'm gonna chop some bit more of onion. Now let's check this after. I just put, by the way guys, I put some tiny bit of oil on this, vegetable oil. So, uh, this garlic and onion will get caramelized before I put it totally here. So that's what it looks like guys. This is what it looks like when 2 or 3 minutes this sizzling really hot. Um, cooking with a really nice on oil so i leave it there for another two to three minutes and i'm gonna turn this on here in the russell and i'm gonna show you next what's next again okay? it's easy as it does so the reason for this one so the meat will sell and it looks um nice and lazy like this when you cook or when it when it cook it looks nice and lazy just like that guys and I'm gonna turn this in the other side too. So the two to three minutes as well when this other side will finish. Alright. <laughs> Alright now guys, everything is done. Everything is done and um I'll get this other one guys. I see them here. Alright, and the other one here also I did that. So it turned good and one on the top so as you can see it's nice and brown so I turn this off now because they're really ready to go in the slow cooker okay. still nice assistant turn this off now as you can see some bit of oil here because I chopped some bit of um, vegetable oil on this for this one to caramelize the onion and the garlic so I'm, I just take aside I put this Russell hub thing now to on and alright now guys everything is done everything is done and um, I get this other one guys I see them here and the other one here also I did that so it turned good and one on the top so as you can see it's nice and brown so I turned this off now because they're really ready to go in the slow cooker okay. still nice assistant turn this off now as you can see some bit of oil here because I checked some bit of um, vegetable oil on this for, for this one to caramelize the onion and the garlic so I'm, I'm just sit aside I put this Russell hub thing now to on and I'm going to 